Difficult trip getting out here, I know. But, no, um, no, not really, just a postponed trip. Got, a, <laughs> got one more afternoon at home, play with my kids, did a bit of uh, work on eSports with the IEG preparing the Formula 3 race that is coming next week, and uh, here I am. Saw you on the track walk earlier, what do you make of this place? It's pretty impressive, eh? looks wide, open, uh, fast, slippery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it seems like a shock with a lot of character, I mean, Whenever there's lots of elevation changes, it's always quite exciting and fun for the driver. Obviously, very unique corners, such as the long turn eight, which is going to be a, not only a, a neck killer, but a, a tire killer. I think it, it's a track that, um, that looks really cool. I've never tried it. It's new to me, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know it. It's not an easiest one to carry right, but uh, as any track, when you try to get the best out of it, it's always difficult. From the first track work that I did this morning, look, uh, amazing track, uh, especially turn eight, you know, really long corner. You know, when they, you came in a new track, it's always uh, nice because you explore a new track. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of, of data to uh, yeah, prepare ourselves um, in, a, in a better way than the last uh, couple of events. It's a beautiful circuit, has a lot of character, uh, a lot of history as well. I mean, I've watched some on both from Michael and, and Fernando from back in the days, a lot of fighting, the crash with Vettel and Weber. Yeah, I think uh, it's been a while, but what I do remember, it is quite amazing. So, um, yeah, looking forward in these generational cars to see how the track feels. You've had a lot of responses as well from you know, people like Lewis and others throughout the sport, really sympathising with you over, over how that race ended. Yeah, absolutely. You know, obviously, um, you know, not the way whatsoever I wanted to end a race or any race, regardless of what position I'm, I'm fighting for. Uh, it was, you know, incredibly gutting, but it gave me... A, a, a lot of time to reflect on the weekend, reflect on the mistake um, and how I sort of conduct my business on, on the racing front moving forward, you know. On the back of Imola, a, a great run, a, a great race. Yeah, it's good. I think it was a good confidence boost, you know, in Imola, uh, knowing that uh, uh, when you do an excellent job, uh, the good results are on the table and uh, it's just like, let's just, let's go and I'll put everything I can in and I'm also going to learn this year. You know, all the work I do with Renault, I'll learn and, and you know, take some of those learnings with me, not only for next year, but probably for the next five years. So um, I never want to stop learning and I don't want to deprive myself or the team of that either. You know, I know what I'm capable of and, uh, you know, I, I know where, uh, where I want to get back to. And, um, you know, my sights are set on this weekend and uh, the rest of the season to uh, try and finish off strong. Your future, how's it looking? Same as before, I have nothing uh, signed, so nothing new to report. Um, we're getting close to the end of the season and uh, it looks um, that uh, I either be in, in, the, in the car next year in Formula 1 or, uh, or at the couch at home. I feel like we do need to find that little bit more, this last, that last tenth or something, just with maximising the setup that little bit more or trying to understand everything that little bit more, um, just because I feel like we've been a little bit behind where we want to be. Um, a little bit behind being competitive enough to fight Renault and, and um, Alpha like in Imola uh, two weekends ago. Um, so if we can do that, then I feel confident we can bring the challenge back to them. So on paper, it looks like it could suit us. Um, it's hard to say, but uh, yeah, I mean, the car's feeling better and better. So in that sense, it should be uh, nicer for us than the than than start of the year. Um, but honestly, we can only really find out until we go on track. I think everyone is just happy to be here again. You know, it's a very cool track. Um, I really enjoyed it, driving it on the simulator already. So um, I can only imagine that it will be even better, better in, in real life. Well, at the end, I, I think as every one of us, we want to win. And, and then second, third, fourth or fifth, I don't really mind. But uh, in a difficult season like this, to see that I am so close of fourth, give me motivation. Okay. Back to Istanbul, Turkey, a track you've had a lot of history on. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there? Well, I've only raced there like three times, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Not... I think that's more history than most of the drivers here. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Valtteri was just telling me in 2011 he was in Formula 3, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me feel really old. Uh, yeah, I was here in 2011, so I know the track, but uh, yeah, keen to, keen to have a look, but it's, it is mega. It's actually one of the nicest tracks, and I'm, I'm glad that F1 is coming back here.